So you've seen the title, and you may be asking yourself, Small H, what do you know about steel? Well, thank you for asking. Let me tell you what I know about steel. Absolutely nothing, but I can Google, and you can't be bothered. The Adventures of Big H. The Adventures of Big H. The Adventures of Big H. So you're probably wondering how I'm gonna add more carbon to steel to actually make it with those stronger property majiggeries. I have these little pieces of chuckle, which I think are made for drawing, but I don't know, I stole them from my mother who's an artist. And also, a piece of flat bar mild steel. So I'm wondering if I can actually add charcoal to it. Well, I'm gonna do it a little bit different. So what they say blacksmiths used to do, so you get the temperature up to what they call welding temperature which is like hot enough so you can like bash it and then they put like charcoal on the anvil and then they like bash it into submission. I don't know, it's not my vibe. I can't be bothered heating it up over and over again and hitting it with a hammer. What I'm actually gonna use is I'm gonna sprinkle the whole thing with charcoal and then I'm gonna run my arc welder over the top. So if I add the carbon to it and then do the welding, I assume while the welding process is happening, it's like, or like, nee, and then you're gonna have like the, the charcoal, like, nee, and then you're gonna have the charcoal that actually goes in with the weld. So it'll, it'll make it more like a carbon and stuff. Hopefully that works. I mean, it's welding heat, as they call it, and it is melting metal heat, should work. Bruh. Okay guys, so this is a basic shape of it. Um, I'm just gonna weld this to that, so it makes like a, a, a blade, blade looking jig. <laughs> and then um, I'm gonna weld, weld this both sides, make sure it's all solid, solid arenos, and then I'll start getting the, the blade size, blade shape and whatnot. And then, uh, and then we'll work on the, the carbonizing, which I'm gonna call it uh, carbonization. Car carburate, carbon, carburation. Here's the final shape that I've decided on. That image, next one. Okay, perfect there to the H. So I've just kind of rounded the edges, left a lot of weight on the end, and then flat across the top. I'll cut this out so you can get a better idea of what this looks like. 20, 20 second, second montage, montage time. time. Okay, so I've got the blade cut to the shape that I want it. Now, when you're putting carbon into steel, it's often surface carbon. So I think I might take the edge down a bit and start to make it look like more of a blade. And then that way, when I do weld it, at least I'll have that edge, or at least the edge will be carbonized or carbureted. Is that a car? Carbureted? Car car carburuned. So as you can see, I've deviled the egg, sorry, beveled the edge of this, and now I'm gonna do some welding, but I wanna be welding, welding the carbons into the, into the doodons. Aluminium foil, not aluminum. That was what Canadians made the name, and then the Americans wanted theirs to sell with people thinking it was the Canadian one, or vice versa, and so they called it Aluminum, and that was actually like a brand name, a marketing name, where it's actually aluminium. Um, so depending on if you want to be a scientist or a brand whore, um, it's entirely up to you, America. Okay, so now that I've made the world's ugliest blade, so now that I've welded it, I need to grind it back and give it a little bit of a shim sham, and then maybe we have a hardened blade. Who knows? We'll find out. Okay, so we've got the edge done, and now that is ready to heat treat. Right here, this is uh, from another project, which you'll see in the future, which may or may not be a forge that we're building. Uh, this is full of water, this will be the quench. Um, I'm not gonna be holding it with my hands, we're probably gonna use something else to hold it, because 800 degrees is hot. So what I've done here is, I've cut this piece out of the timber, and now I'm gonna use that so it fills up. Cause last time I used foil and I have a feeling that it just blew it absolutely everywhere. So I bought 
a big bag of charcoal, which, I mean, I hope, you know, pure coal, could probably go find a seam in the backyard. But then Gene Reinhardt would come around here and like try and take my house. So not really into that. So, <laughs> God, that was dumb. I'm gonna put the blade in, I'm gonna fill it full of charcoal, and then I'm gonna run that weld on it again. And hopefully it doesn't blow holes in it. The problem is, while doing this, I've actually made one of the ingredients to gunpowder, so I'm probably now on a watch list. I'm actually really impressed with my little forge here. It's actually gone quite well, um, besides the blade bending, but that's what happens when you quench in water. Okay, so now before I do anything, it's time for the file test. <sighs> Put in some epic music. Dun, 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 dun. I have done it. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. So uh, after running that file straight over it, it's barely done anything to it. It's just sliding straight over the top. So as you can see, uh, because of the blade being uh, pretty shoddy and I've lost a lot of material uh, since I've had to re-world and test this over this time. So what I've decided to do is uh, go a little bit, you know, just make a simple simple hilt for it. <laughs> well, it looks cool at least, you know, like clickbait and stuff. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna do the testing now. I'm pretty sure it's hardened. So what I have here is what it's meant for, which this is my most hated branch. This is a uh, Bougainvillea. It has little, it has nice pretty flowers, but uh, it has spikes all the way down it and thorns. So um, this is what it's meant for. We'll do a couple of tests on that. Then we move our way to timber. We have a rock, and then we have the final test, which is a piece of the steel that I actually made it out of. Now, just as I thought, absolutely nothing. Blade is still razor sharp. Okay, solid timber block and chopping. Okay, that worked. Eh. That's reasonably sharp. That's very sharp. <laughs> Did not expect. I can get chuckled about. The blade still feels just as sharp, like nothing's changed. And now onto the rock test. Now I'm not feeling uh, incredibly great about this. Uh, I have a feeling the rock's gonna do a little bit of damage to it. We have a little bit of edge deformation, like a slight little roll on the edge, but that's expected, I'm hitting a rock. This isn't what it's meant for. Now for, now the, for moment the moment you've, you've all been, been waiting, waiting for. for. Three rounds and oh my God, I broke both the antlers off. <laughs> uh, whoopsies. No way. No damage at all. Again. Okay, I went over the edge and I hit I hit the vice. I hit the vice. Great success! I've actually done it. It worked. To all you naysayers said I couldn't do it, couldn't turn mild steel into carbonized hard steel. Well, you're wrong. It was a success. It's probably going to be in the title that it was a success. But still, people said I couldn't do it, and I did it, which makes me good at things and stuff. The blade is fine. I actually hit the vise twice by accident, which has left two little bumps. But you can actually see where I've done all of the actual cutting for everything, because there's one little like pocket just here where I did all of that cutting. And I absolutely jacked up this piece of steel. Like I even took a corner clean off. It's insane. I took a corner, which is as thick as the blade, completely off, just sheared it straight off. This knife is so much harder. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you like my content, then please hit that subscribe button, like and comment. That always helps with the algorithm. And then I can make better videos for you guys.